Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope everyone is doing better than fantastic. Today. I wanted to make a quick video. That goes along with the videos I've made as of late. Talking about the scams narcissists do to their targets. Well. Their entire relationship with you is a complete scam. But I think you know what I mean. When they try to see if you will buy things they want. If you will give them money. If they can out of the blue scream at you for being late by 10 minutes to pick them up for dinner. And they demand you make it up by taking them to a nicer place to eat. And the list goes on and on and on. You see. The narcissist wears a mask. They wear this mask because they know if they walked around showing you and the world what and who they really are. There's a good chance you would walk in the opposite direction. Getting as far away from them as possible. And because the narcissist knows this. They wear a fake mask of kindness. Love. Passion. And sincerity. They call and text you all of the time to make you feel loved and cared for like you've never been loved and cared for before. They do this long enough to get you used to this feeling. So much so you actually start to become addicted to this feeling. As all of your brain's happy chemicals are shooting around seemingly non-stop. And once they have you at a certain point. Their goal is to test you to see if they can use you as a long-term piece of supply. And they will do this by trying to see if you will fall for the money scam early on. And or if you will allow them to mistreat you. Which would stop those happy feelings right in their tracks making you long for and wish to restart those happy feelings. By trying to reason with them. And find out how you can mend this problem. And get back to where you were just at in the relationship with this individual. Well. As we know. All of these things are tricks of the narcissist to take you down a dark road of mistreatment and our lives being literally ruined. But because we know there are many more narcissists out there in the world. Even with changes made in our lives. Changes to better ourselves and set up boundaries. We still might encounter such a narcissist again. But this time if they test us early on. Hopefully we will smile inside of ourselves and see it as a gift. That they are showing us who and what they are and we can then walk away. Look. If someone tells you for literally no reason or a small reason. That they wish they never met you. That person doesn't love you. That person doesn't even like you. Yes. I know. Some people can be emotional at times. But let me ask you this. If someone were to be 10 minutes late one time to pick you up to go anywhere. Let alone a nice dinner. Would you scream at them and say you wish you never met them? Look. When you hear those words. I wish I never met you. You are the worst person I've ever dated. I don't know what I ever seen in you to begin with. And the list goes on and on. See that as your chance and opportunity to exit. Be thankful you are seeing this on month 6. And guess what that's a good way to get those happy feelings back. But for a different reason. You will have those happy feelings because you now have boundaries and are using them. You were able to spot a terrible situation and avoid it. You know. Everyone has to do what's right for themselves. But I've heard those words. You are the worst person blah 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 blah. More times than I can count from these narcissists. And my default setting was always to find out why. Why are they saying that? I would try to reason with them. I would try to prove my case and give examples and point out tangible ways where I showed that I cared about this person. But guess what? I later realized when I was doing this. I was telling the narcissist loud and clear. I was trained to do this by someone else. 
most likely a narcissist parent or parents. And I will make a good source of long-term supply. You know. I heard it so long and so many times from the narcissists that were close in my life. I just had one mode. And that was to try to get them to not feel that way about me. I know. I know. It's sad when you think about it. But once we realize this about ourselves. The hope is to shift this in our own minds. And I say in our own minds. Because the narcissist doesn't need to know our every thought. Because the more they know the more they can attempt to manipulate you. But the hope is to think in our own minds the moment you start hearing how terrible you are for this reason and that reason. To know. The relationship is over. Whatever their problem is. No matter it be narcissism or something else. I want no part of it. And I don't owe this person an explanation. Look. I'm sorry you feel that way about me. I think you should find someone better suited for you. Because obviously I'm falling short of your expectations. And politely leave. I don't shout back. And I try not to get into a debate. It's hard. But it's a work in progress. And if need be. I let them have the feeling they got one over on me. When in reality. It was I that got one over on them. Because I seen their game a mile away. Or at least on their first terrible mask slipping episode. I didn't debate them. And I walked away. Maybe they call. And say. They are sorry and they want to try again. Only for me to say. Hey that means a lot to me you called to apologize. But right now I think it's good we keep things where they are. I think you are an amazing person and you deserve another amazing person. It just looks like I'm not what you are looking for. I wish you luck out there and take care of yourself. Because calling a narcissist a narcissist will just cause narcissistic injury. And it will make them want to come after you. And I say this all the while with a smile on the inside. And happy I was spared to deal with another toxic narcissist again. Well that's all I have for today. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comments section below. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.